Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about a greedy application, optimal storage on tapes. What is the problem? The problem is they are given a number of programs. Each program having a length L. Each program having a length L. Now your aim is you need to store the programs in a tape. We have two concepts. Single tape system, multi tape system. For example, first to consider single tape. That means we have only one tape is existed. What is your aim? You need to place the programs into the tape such that the retrieval time is minimum. The retrieval time is minimum. Here one condition is if you want to access retrieval means after placing the programs into the tape again if you want you can like our tape recorder. Suppose if you want to listen the fifth song, compulsory song 1 is completed, song 2 is completed, 3 is completed, 4th is completed, then only it is possible to move for 5. Even forward also, compulsory we have moved from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Here also the same concept, if you want to retrieve a particular job, you need to access all the jobs. That means the retrieval always starts from initial position. Initial position. Okay. Suppose if you do not have the concept of greedy approach, how the things are happened? Consider three jobs. Consider any three jobs. 3, comma, 10, comma, 5. Assume L1, L2, L3. Length of job 1, length of job 2, length of job 3. Okay. Here, there is no restriction on the order. Why? Because our aim is to reduce the retrieval time. So, you can place in any order. You can place in any order. For example, job 1, this is 1, 2, 3. If you are placing in the order 1, 2, 3, place in the order 1, 3, 2, place in the order 2, 3, 1, place in the order 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. That means if you have 3 jobs, a total of 6 possible combinations. For example, how to access first job? The time is 3 plus second job. What is the time? You need to access the first job plus this one. Now what is the time of third job? 3 plus 10 plus 5. Now you are getting the idea. Okay. Suppose if this is the order. First job 3 plus. If you are accessing the third one. 3 plus 5. 3 plus 5 plus 10. So calculate some. Now for example I will explain one more. Second job 10 plus 10 plus 3 that is 10 plus 5 plus third job 10 plus 5 plus 3. In this order you have to follow. It is a wastage of time among all the calculations which has the minimum sum value. In that order we are placing the jobs in the tape. In that order we are placing the jobs in the tape. To overcome this problem, we are using greedy approach. Now, suppose what is the length? Assume the total retrieval time is sigma i is equal to 1 to n li. The meaning is if you want to access third job, fifth job. So, i is equal to 1 to 5 l1 plus L2, plus L3, plus L4, plus L5. Now you got it. This is the formula for accessing any job. That means we have to access all these jobs. Now, okay. Now directly I am moving into greedy approach. 
so in greedy approach the procedure is very very simple instead of finding the order simple thing is the first step arrange the programs in ascending order arrange the programs in ascending order of the less and place the job it gives the best result why if you are placing in the ascending order understand the minute logic first two job has the lowest length if you are want to access the second job means lowest length job plus next one suppose if you have highest value means each and every time you have to add that value yes or no if you want to access the fifth job we need to add the first job four times in the first set the second set the third set fourth set if it is the smallest value the overall time is reduced now i will explain example consider an example assume they are given some number of jobs 15 9 25 6 14 whatever it is assume these are the jobs what is the procedure arrange the jobs in ascending order 6 9 14 15 25 After that, calculate the retrieval time. Six plus six plus nine plus six plus nine plus fourteen plus six plus nine plus fourteen plus fifteen plus six plus nine plus fourteen plus fifteen plus twenty-five. This is my answer. Suppose simply six plus fifteen. Here the value is fifteen plus fourteen, twenty nine plus. Already this is twenty nine, thirty nine, forty four plus forty four plus twenty five, sixty nine. Now if you have sum of all this, we are getting some value. Whatever it is, this is the retrieval time. This is the retrieval time for placing the jobs into a day and retrieving the job. my first point is completed what is the point placing the jobs or programs in a single day this is a single day now my aim is instead of using a single day you are using multiple day single day instead of single day i am using multiple days so multi days how simply for example we have three tapes t0 t1 t2 assume we have three tapes whatever the jobs they are given the first two procedure is arrange all the jobs in the ascending order of their their lengths and distribute the jobs according to the tapes distribute the jobs according to the tapes for example Assume some numbers: fifteen, thirty-two, twenty-four, forty-five, three, fifty-seven, ninety-eight. Whatever it is, six, ninety-eight, seventy-seven, fifty-six. Whatever it is. Suppose consider some set of numbers. Consider some set of numbers. Now the procedure is arrange all the jobs in ascending order: three, three, six. Next value is I think fifteen. Next to twenty two, next to value is some thirty two, thirty two is okay. Next to forty five, next to fifty six, fifty seven, and seventy seven. Suppose this is the way. Now the procedure is: first job is placed in this one, second job is placed in this one, third job is placed in this one. You got it? Now twenty two here. Thirty-two, forty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, seventy-seven. Here one more is remaining. Ninety-eight. Now ninety-eight. No need. All the tests must and should consist of equal number. There is no problem. Now these are the way you are using multi-day. Calculate the retrieval time for each and every day individually. The retrieval time for Each and every day, individually, like three plus three plus twenty-two plus three plus twenty-two plus fifty-six plus 
थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी टू प्लस फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस नाइंटी एट दिस इज द रिट्राइवल टाइम फॉर टेप जीरो सिमिलरली सिक्स प्लस सिक्स प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस थर्टी टू प्लस फिफ्टी सेवन दिस इज रिट्राइवल फॉर टाइम फॉर टेप वन नौ फिफ्टीन प्लस फिफ्टीन प्लस सम फार्टी फाइव प्लस फिफ्टीन प्लस फार्टी फाइव प्लस सेवेंटीन दिस इज द रिट्राइवल टाइम फॉर टेप थ्री टी वन टेप टू टेप थ्री वंस वी आर गेटिंग ऑल द रिट्राइवल टाइम्स सिंपली अज्यूम डी ऑफ टी आई इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा I is equal to one to n l i. This is the retrieval time for tape one. This is the retrieval time for one tape. Now, what is the retrieval time? Suppose d of t. The total retrieval time is simply sigma i is equal to one to n. Suppose j is equal to one to n d of t i. That means the sum of all the retrieval times now the final thing is instead of finding sum of all the retrieval times our aim is you have to calculate mean retrieval time what is mean retrieval time for example assume the sum of three tapes value some 300 the sum of all the time d of t means The total retrieval time for all the tapes by the number of tapes by the number of tapes. Now you got it. This is the mean retrieval time. If you have a single tape, means no need of any mean retrieval time. Why? Because only one tape. The retrieval time and the MRT both are same. If you have multiple tapes, you need to calculate this mean retrieval time. Finally. I am moving to the algorithm. Moving to the algorithm. Algorithm storage of n. N specifies the number of jobs. N specify number of jobs. Each and every job consists of a length l. Each and every job consists of a length l. Suppose t specifies, or else we have some change in the algorithm. Instead of single tape, we are writing the algorithm for multi tape. So n specifies the number of programs, and here m specifies the number of tapes. M specifies the number of tapes. Initially, t is equal to zero. That means tape zero. Now simple thing is right. So for all the jobs, for i is equal to one two and two. Remember one point here. Already the programs are arranged in ascending order. Ascending order according to the length. Simply write program i on tape. We are writing a program I can take simply t is equal to t plus one mod m. This is the way. Suppose see this one. Assume m is equal to three three tapes. First job t plus one t value is zero zero plus one one mod three. What is answer one? So first job is placed in tape one. In the next iteration. In the next iteration, what is the t value already updated? T value is updated to one. One plus one two. Two mod m two. That is second job is placed in tape two. In the next iteration, two plus one three. Three mod three. So tape zero. Like this, whatever it is, tape one, tape two, tape three, or tape zero, tape one, tape two. In this order, order sequentially, we are placing the elements. This is optimal storage on tapes. Thank you.